When we think of moving heat, we usually think of something like this. Heat can be moved into an object, but it can also be moved out. This fish processing plant removes heat from the fish by using temperature difference as force in a thermal system. Thermal systems move heat from place to place in the same way that fluid systems move liquids and electrical systems move charges. What does heat really mean? When we talk of something being hot or cold, we're really talking about the activities of the very atoms and molecules of which the substance is made. When something gets hot, its molecules move faster. They have more energy. It's something like this popcorn. The kernels are like molecules that start out with low energy, but when they start popping and dancing around inside the pot, they have more energy, like the molecules of a hot object. Thermal systems usually add heat, but Mike Ivers' job is a little unusual because his system takes heat away. This thermometer says 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's below zero. It's about 60 degrees in this room, so there's 160 degrees difference in temperature. We're trying to freeze fish very quickly in this tunnel, about eight minutes. This is liquid carbon dioxide. If you tried to do this in a home freezer, it would take an hour. Here it will only take a few seconds. What we've done is pulled the heat from this piece of fish. The reason that works is because of the large temperature difference. I have to know about how temperature difference moves heat in order to maintain this machine. Heat will move from warm areas to cold, from areas of high energy to low, and it's moved by temperature difference. Temperature difference is what acts like a force to move heat in a thermal system. Even popcorn kernels will move from areas of high energy to low if they're able. This is how heat moves from warm areas to cold in a thermal system. Temperature difference is symbolized by delta T. It's found by simply subtracting one temperature from the other. Mike's room is 60 degrees Fahrenheit above zero. That's 15 degrees Celsius. But the freezer is 100 degrees below zero. That's minus 73 degrees Celsius. So delta T in this system is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The larger delta T becomes, the faster the heat will move. That's why the fish freezes so fast. Heat flows out through the walls of a house in winter because of temperature difference. If the temperature inside is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature outside is 30 degrees Fahrenheit, what's delta T? Can you find delta T in summer when the temperature inside is 70 degrees and it's 110 degrees Fahrenheit outside? Delta T is the same, but the heat moves in the opposite direction. Knowing the temperature difference between inside and outside will determine how much insulation is needed to reduce the flow of heat. The principle of moving heat from one place to another is the same in the freezer as it is for blast furnaces, power plants, and even rocket engines. In all cases, technicians have to find areas of high temperature and low and understand how temperature difference acts like a force frozen. to move heat. Too frozen. <laughs>